Hello again. Welcome to another edition of your Coastal Lifestyle Guide. I'm Rebecca Wellborn with Coastal Properties Group Christie's International Real Estate, and I'm here today in the studio of Sherry Gaines, artist and um, painter. Thanks for being my guest, Sherry. Oh, absolutely. It's my pleasure, and thank you for having me. So uh, I only met Sherry this week. Um, I happened to subscribe to Tampa Bay Magazine, and she was featured in the current issue. They had a wonderful feature on her and her work, and I was so taken by her artwork that I reached out to her and asked if she had some pieces that I could purchase. So um, I've got one on the way. I think she said it's going to be yeah, here today. Yeah, today or tomorrow. Yeah, yes. so I'm real excited about that. So Sherry, tell us tell our viewers uh, a little bit about your artwork. Okay, so I like to paint in a realistic style. I paint in oils, mainly in oils, and I got started, um, I've been a painter and uh, uh, kind of dabbled in art all my life since I was very young. And then when I the kids left the, um, to go to college and that, I said, you know what, it's my time for me to figure out, you know, if I wanna pursue art, more passionately and uh, it was I found a lady in Dunedin that was giving private lessons in her home and I called her up and uh, struck up a conversation with her about uh, how to get started in uh, taking my art to the next level and I had never painted in oils before she uh, asked if I'd like to try that as a as a beginning medium and I was very excited to try it she had me pick up only four tubes of paint which I was like, how am I going to make all these colors? And she taught me how to mix color, how to uh, work with perspective, uh, both aerial perspective, linear perspective. We talked about art history. Uh, she had me look at all kinds of art everywhere, go to museums and check out art and just kind of hone in on what really I gravitated towards. So that's basically how I got started. And then I have not stopped since. I've been painting professionally about 13 years. Uh, and I paint pretty much every day. So um, let me ask you a question. Uh, have you, do you exhibit through the Dunedin Fine Arts Center at all, or are you in, involved with the Fine Arts Center? Yes, I am a member of the Dunedin Fine Arts Center, and I do uh, occasionally put artwork in. I did win a Best in Show uh, a couple of years ago. Congratulations. In the, thank you so much. In the <laughs> student member faculty show, it was the biggest thrill, and my family was here to enjoy it with me, so that was super nice. Um, I also exhibit at the Stur Sterling Art, Studio, Art Studios and Galleries, uh, and that's um, on Broadway in uh, downtown Dunedin. Uh, I exhibit quite often with them. Uh, let's see where else. Uh, Professional Association of Visual Artists, PAVA. Uh, I do exhibit occasionally with them. Um, and Creative Artists Guild, I'm a member there, uh, which is another local group, and the Tarpon Springs Art Association, and I uh, put some work in uh, some of their shows as well. So I asked Sherry if she would be willing to actually do some painting while we're here today and teach us a little bit about her process. So you want to give that a try? Absolutely. Okay, so I like to work from life a lot as opposed to working from a photo. It's not always possible, but I, that's my preferred method. Uh, right now, I am just sketching out um, this little, my favorite little guy. His name is Manny Ken, and he is one of my favorite little muses. Uh, in any case, I'm working with raw umber, uh, and this is an oil pigment, an oil pigment that is just sort of a brownie green, uh, and it just kind of lets me place things where I want them, and it, I can move things around too, just even with a paper towel, my fingers, uh, just kind of get things where I want them. And then I can just kind of just play around and stay really loose while I'm getting started on something here. And then if I don't like it, I can always just wipe it out and start again. And then once I get everything where I want it, I start working on shadows and light. Uh, I can see there's a shadow coming from his hand right in here. So I'm putting a little shadow right here. And he's sitting obviously on a ledge and the ledge looks like it's maybe right about here where his hands are gonna be. So I kind of put that in, kind of get that going. And uh, I like to, look at light patterns, shadow patterns, uh, and just add a little personality and fun. And I 
you know, we'll determine the background. If I like what I see in my background when I'm setting something up, I'll keep it. If not, I'll change it to whatever I want. Uh, and that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, when I work from a photo, um, I, again, photos have a lot of information and I don't always put all that information in. I try to edit as much as possible and I uh, really try to stay cognizant of compositional uh, elements that would really like lead the eye, uh, lead the viewer into the scene. I, I think that's a really important thing uh, when painting anything is to, to uh, focus on composition. So. so let me ask you a question, Sherry. What would you say that the patrons of your work love most about you? So I've been told that my work has an authenticity about it, which I really, really like. I paint a lot in plein air, which is painting on location. So I'll go out to the area beaches. I love Honeymoon Island. A lot of my work is inspired from there. Uh, so I paint, paint a lot on location there. I'll go to marinas. I'll, I'll paint in the middle of downtown right on the sidewalk. Desert, I used to be like very nervous about that because you know there's people watching, but I really like to engage people that are coming up to see what I'm painting. I think that's part of the fun. Uh, and that's another thing that people like is that I'm approachable. Uh, I like to do local art fairs and the same thing. I would much rather be in front of somebody talking about what I do. Uh, and you know, art is for everyone. Um, so. this, is, uh, this has been great. Thank you for being here. Is there any, uh, anything coming up, a show or anything that you wanna let our viewers know about? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm gonna be setting up Friday for a Saturday and Sunday show uh, at, sponsored by PAVA, which is Professional Association of Visual Artists. And it's called the Cool Art Show. It's uh, at the Coliseum in St. Pete. It's an indoor show. Yay for air conditioning. So that's a good thing. Uh, and it's um, a stellar group of artists. There is something for everyone. Ceramics, woodworking, lots of different uh, paintings in different mediums of paintings, uh, drawing, um, you name it, it's out there. Jewelry, gorgeous jewelry. Uh, so it's definitely worth checking out. So this has been really fun. I learned a little bit about painting. I actually just bought two blank canvases at a thrift store the other day and I thought, yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. So, so again, I'm Rebecca Wellborn with Coastal Properties Group, Christie's International Real Estate. Um, be sure to uh, visit Sherry's website. Yes, uh, SherryGainesArtwork.com, which is S-H-A-R-I-G-A-I-N-E-S-A-R-T-W-O-R-K.com. And if you have a business that you'd like to have featured, reach out to me. Um, be happy to do it. And remember to always shop local. Bye for now. Bye.